In this video, I want to show you how to add level of detail to a model to make a game ready model. Here, I've already created an anvil. Uh, you can, it's a fairly simple model. And um, so you can see here that right now I'm showing you the high resolution view of the model. What we want to do is we all want to layer all the levels of detail on top of one another. Now, each level must be named with the name and the number for which its detail level will be recorded at. And the number corresponds to the number of pixels that will be displayed on the screen. Um, so this is the highest level, so it has the highest number of pixels, and we I have called this Anvil 50. I want to mention that you do not want to name it LOD 50. Uh, LOD is a very bad group name. Um, so you want to make sure you name it something not LOD. This is our LOD 50. I have hidden the other meshes um, so that they don't interfere with the view. Here I will unhide it. So there is our level 30. You can see it's a little lower resolution. It will be from farther away and the player won't really be able to see it. Uh, this is what it only takes up 30 pixels on the screen. That's fairly small. And then here I've had this hidden also. I'll unhide it. This is Anvil 10. This is a LOD at level 10. So now you can see all of them laid on top of each other. And this is collision minus one. I'm gonna hide that. You'll notice that this doesn't really fit the exact shape of the model. That's because we cannot have any concave meshes. So you'll notice every area of this collision mesh um, is convex. Uh, that means it goes out instead of in. There's no curves, uh, no areas where the collision will interfere with the game collision so that nothing gets trapped and it doesn't get confused. Um, and the Torque game engine requires a convex collision mesh. I don't know about other game engines, but this is the one we're using. I hide it because I don't need to see it once it's created. Um, you can see the um, wireframe overlay. I've just right clicked there, select wireframe overlay, and that works. Um, if I want to unselect it, I do it the same way. Right click, wireframe overlay, it goes away, and it comes back. And here I can see all of the collision meshes I've selected. I can hide the high level meshes and you can just see the base one. So this is our Anvil 10. This is the lowest level of collision. Uh, the player will see this from the very farthest distance away. And um, I can hide that. And now here you see the level 30 uh, level of detail. This is just it all by itself. I hide that. Now you see nothing. And I unhide the Anvil 50 and we're back to the same level that we have. now. We want to make sure that our materials are named correctly. Uh, you do that in the material naming, of course. I've used a metal aged dot crafted dot PNG uh, material for this model. And so this can be um, exported now to DTS format. So I choose export torque DTS plus and in here you will see all the levels of detail listed. Anvil 10, Anvil 30, Anvil 50, and the collision mesh. It lists the texture that we're using and we click on export DTS. Here I will name it. Um, I'm just going to call it anvil.dts and save. And we're done. Simple as that. 